Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot Part 2! So, we are on the second island, the point where the game gets a little more difficult. Now, last time, there were some levels that we could not get 100% on because we needed to find some coloured gems. And I'm hoping that within this episode, I can find some of these. Maybe. You never know. Okay, so... Oh, God. I thought I was going to fall. I don't want to fall. There are many over-elaborate deaths for Crash Bandicoot, conceived by people with sick minds. But falling in the water? That's... that's just so ordinary. No, if I'm going to go, I want it to be a good death. Now, in this level, there is the possibility I could be eaten by one of those giant plants. But I hope not. Okay, there's one. Some of these plants, they only try and snap shut when you jump onto them. And some of them are timed, so you've got to be very careful about when you jump. I'm not worried. Are you? You are, aren't you? You think I can't play this game, but I can! And to prove it, I shall jump across these flowers without being eaten. Ha! You see? No problem. Ugh, evil fish. There is a chance that that fish jumping out of the water can potentially kill you. And look at that! A crit with an explanation mark. This is going to make something appear. But what? We're going to have to find out. I believe it's down here. Let's go! Aha! There we go. Two extra crates. Uh oh. TNT! It's going to explode! There we go. Two extra boxes. So easy to miss. But now we have to try and get past this fish. Uh, you would have thought jumping into a fish would simply result in the fish being flicked out of the way, but not in this game. You've got to be careful of evil fish. You don't know how devious they can be. You might find they're poisonous. You could be casually eating on your fish fingers and custard, and then suddenly you'll be dead. Sexy head. Great. Okay, it's another bonus level. Let's see if I can do it. Uh-oh. Look at all these boxes. Boxes and a giant gap. I've got to try not to fall. Okay, I can do this. Come on. Two, come on. Try. Oh, yes. Come on. Okay, we did it. Uh oh, more. Okay. Whoa, God. That was close. But I made it. Okay, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yay! I made it. Brilliant! 17 lives. Hello, sexy lady! 26% of the game is complete. Nice! That went pretty well. Ow. I see a plant. Okay. We've got to time this perfectly. Oh god, the leaf went too far away. Okay, we need to avoid the evil fish. We need to make sure the plant doesn't kill me. And we need to make sure the leaf is close. So, that would have been a bad time. The fish would have killed me. The leaf's too far away now. Uh, the no, the leaf's going too far. Damn. Maybe I can kill the fish? No. Uh, okay. Now! Great! I made it! Brilliant! Perfect! 26% complete. I've got another gem. Four gems, 27% of the game complete. Okay! Ripperoo in his straight jacket, the second boss of the game. I'll be okay. I've got a gold mask following me around like Sparks the Dragonfly. It'll protect me, and I'm going to use these big TNTs to my advantage. <laughs> He's got a good laugh. It reminds me of my sister. Okay, uh, oh god, okay, damn, I got hurt. Serves me right, really, for being mean to my poor sister. 
Bye bye, Ripperoo. The Lost City. Okay, we've got a strange temple type place. Do you think I can't handle temples? Well, I can. Uh, okay, so we've got a live and. Oops. No, I can't get back over. Damn. Oh, wait. Yes, I can. <laughs> and we've got a mask. You've got to love having a mask. I need to get my mask back. I've only got one mask. That's no good. But over here, we've got lots of knots of lives. Seven lives. Eight lives. Soon I shall have so many lives, I could be confused for a cat. Um, okay. So... What else is in store for us? Oh, we've got floating platforms and bats trying to kill us. Box hiding around there. Did you think I wouldn't notice? Of course I would. Because I'm Chris and I notice these things. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, you've got to be careful timing these things because they can knock you into the river if you don't be careful. Ugh, I've got an ugly head. Not an ugly head. Another bat. Whoa. Got to be careful. All these bats could kill you. They kamikaze and attack you. Oh. I got a life. Ten lives. Stupid bats. Another sexy head. Stupid lizard. Okay, come on. There we go. As soon as you kill the bats on both sides, they cannot harm you anymore. Nicely done. We've got another ugly head. But I sure hate those ugly head bonus rounds. They are tough. But I believe that later on, that damn, I believe. Stop it. I believe there is another bonus round. The Neocortex bonus round. So, oh god. Hang on. I must concentrate. There we go. Everybody knows how notoriously bad I am at doing these. these platforming things, jumping all the way up. Well, not bad, but sometimes I can miss time something, or I can completely miss the platform and fall all the way to the bottom, and that's rubbish. Because I have to climb all the way back up again. And I don't want to do that. See, it's all about timing. And over here, I believe we get a another ugly head. Okay, it's this one. Where is it? Here we are, ugly head. Okay, let's go. Wow! That was that was a close one. It happened again. I've missed a life. There we are. Yay! That was good. Okay, we need all oh, we need to be careful on these. Wah! They can spin round and knock you down. Everything is designed to knock you down in this place. Okay, we need to time this carefully, otherwise the bats will kill us or we'll fall down here. Checkpoint. Oh, God. Okay, you need to time this carefully. When they both go in at the same time, then you can run. Whoa. Or you could just jump round the side like that. Wait for him to jump in the middle, and then we get the box. Yeah, I, sorry, um, 
if the commentary isn't brilliant at this stage, but I'm really trying to concentrate. I don't want to lose on this level again because I've been trying to complete this level for ages. One mistake and it's all over, but don't worry, I've got a sexy head. Two, three. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna be careful here. Oh god. Okay, I think the best thing to do would be to whiz the boxes at the top. Yeah. And then I can get these ones without worrying that I might bonk my head and fall. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure that I stay to the side. Get rid of the ones at the top, and then the ones beneath won't be so bad. Okay. Come on. There we are. Right, two, three, four, and five. Yay! I did it! Hello! Yep, Crash Bandicoot goes for the taller ladies. I think we can all agree that she is a fox. Well, a, a bandicoot, but a, a fox bandicoot. No, 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 just, just a bandicoot. But as far as bandicoots go, she is a foxy stoat. Badger. I believe we are actually right near the end now. Okay, don't kill him yet. Wait for this. That happened too. I killed that guy, and then I couldn't get that box, so I had to start all over again. It's so easy to just trip you up right near the end of the level, but I did it. I've done it! Yes! At last! Thank God for that. A green gem. You know what that means. I can go right back to the start of the game and do that level that needed a green gem. I believe that was the second level. Jungle Rollers. Okay, here we are. The green gem. There it is. And we can use it as a platform. And there are our three boxes that we missed. Two and three. Great! Now we can get 100% on this level. So let's complete the level. I've done it. I've done it. I'm brilliant. I've got a new gem. Six gems. Here we are at the temple ruins. Oh, we've got spears coming out of the walls. That's not very nice. I shall do my best to make sure that Crash does not get stabbed. Okay. Uh, oh, a blue snake. Oh, blue is beautiful. Blue is best. Okay. Here we go. Jump. TNT? Yeah. Woohoo! Wow. These tribal temples are amazing. I mean, you got to wonder how do they fit those long sticks and such thin pillars? I mean, it's like in Resident Evil 5, they've got this unbelievable technology. It might seem like an ancient race, but you cannot question the dexterity of the architects. I mean, okay, it's descended into ruins, it's become home to spiders and bats and snakes and all sorts of things, but they've got a pretty good import of crates of fruit. And they taste good. Yummy! Yeah! Ah! You gotta be careful of fire. Speaking of which, I see some fire behind this snake. We could do this. Ah! This whole LP is just gonna be me going. Ah, 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 ah. Yummy apple.
apples. Uh, how am I supposed to get that? Oh. Wow. I'm rich. Whoa, I nearly died too. But to be careful you don't jump too far. Or you could fall off the edge, which is not a very good idea. Not if you want to play the game properly, and I do. Sometimes I don't play games properly, like when I play Grand Theft Auto. You know, I mean, I've played that a few times. I've never really got into the games because I, you know, I, I start messing around. I start trying to kill as many people as I possibly can instead of pursuing the missions. Which is more fun, I think. Whoa, I thought I was going to die then. And I've got to avoid the flames. Okay, be careful. We don't want to fall down. It's better to wait on those revolving things until it lines up with your, where you're supposed to be. What's this? Oh. That's good. But yeah, who actually plays Grand Theft Auto and doesn't decide to, you know, go on a rampage? Because that is what you're supposed to do, isn't it? You know, I used to enjoy playing a game called The Getaway, where I would put a couple of cars at either side of an occupied car, so the person can't open the doors, they can't escape from the car. And then I would shoot the windows, then I would shoot the tires, then I would shoot the car's engine, and watch as the person slowly burns to death. Because that is the kind of person I am. I find that so amusing. You know, it, it's, it's fun to do things like that. And we've completed the level. Hooray! Perfect! And we've got a new gem. Brilliant! Da -da -da. Where to next? Oh, the road to nowhere. Where are we now? The road to nowhere. Hmm. What have I got? Some sort of strange hieroglyphs here. I can't read it. Being a bandicoot. Let's ignore it. It probably doesn't mean anything. Or maybe it does. Hmm. But I've just got a new life. New life! That's good. I like lives. Lives are good. But, um... Ow. TNT! Ah. This... This bridge doesn't seem safe. Ah. Uh, but this warthog seems okay. If only I was a warthog, then I would have no problem. But no. No. Why, when he was a young warthog. But no. I am a bandicoot. Like my father before me. And his father. And, and his father, and his father's father, and his son, and his father's father, and uh, his father's 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 father. So, um, okay, let's carry on jumping and being careful. Because I don't want to fall. This level is one of the most frustrating levels of the game, I find. You've got to be exact. You've got to try and not fall down. And when you're trying to go for 100% so you don't fall down, it is really difficult and... Ah! Whew. Whoa. This bridge is not... Sorry. Yummy! Okay, let's go. <laughs> I don't like it here. Oh, for God's sake! No! You can't do that to me! And I was doing so well! Oh, great, you've done it now. Now I'm just going to be on a constant death spree. I'm not even thinking. I don't know if that made sense. Oh. Right, I need to take it slow. Come on. I've got a sneaky suspicion that you need a gem for this level, so it doesn't matter if I die. May as well just enjoy the level and show you what I will eventually have to do without dying. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, huh? 
I was able to walk on the rope then. I wonder if I can walk on the rope all the way. <laughs> wow! I'm going to cheat the system! Watch this. Watch this. Yes. Okay, let's go. D ah! Ow. D I want to cheat the system. Go no. I want to cheat the system. Ah! No. This isn't working. I want to cheat the system. Okay, but... I cannot cheat the system. I'm gonna have to do this properly. Like a pro. Watch me go. Oh yeah! See? Doing it properly works better. We need to avoid that. Oh, how am I going to do it? Okay, I'm going to jump. Jump! Okay, I've got to jump on that. Maybe? And make sure I don't accidentally jump underneath it. Okay, go! J oh, God. I don't want a great big metal crate falling on Crash's head. That would hurt. Okay. More lives. I need lives. 39% complete. I have noticed that this game doesn't save. You can't really save this game properly. So your lives will reset every time, even if you have loads of lives at the beginning. So, uh, yeah. Oh, for God's sake. But yeah. Every single time you load, even if you had like 40 lives when you leave the game, when you start it again, you have like four. Right, I need to get a red crystal. Boulder Dash, eh? Another one of these levels. With seven lives. <laughs> I'm sure I can do that. Oh, stock up on lives. I have eight lives now. Okay, let's go. These boulders shan't be any trouble. They're not as horrible as those levels that I just did. Road to nowhere. God, I hate that level. And I need to do it again without losing one life. Oh well. For all the happiness and sorrow, I guess I'll do it all again. <sighs> These things I'm jumping on always remind me of kiwi fruit. I like kiwi fruit. They are yummy. Okay, I've got to be careful and make sure that I get a box. If I see a box, I must crush. Nope, no boxes. Sometimes they put a sneaky box somewhere where you're going to have to try and run behind something else to try and get it while simultaneously making sure that the border does not crush you. Especially in Crash Bandicoot 2, they do that quite a lot in those levels. However, the border has been replaced with a giant polar bear. And occasionally, you'll be riding a polar bear as well. I love Crash Bandicoot 2. The polar bear is so cute. Okay. You can't catch me. I'm Crash Bandicoot. You're just a boulder. So, there. Ha 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 ha. Okay. It is going well so far. I wonder if you need a gem for this level as well. I believe you do. Ah, oh, there you are. We need a purple gem. Damn. Because I don't have that gem I've missed. A 
18 boxes. God! Sunset Vista. Oh look, it's one of these levels again. With lots of Wumpa fruit. Nom! I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> what did I do that for? That was silly. Okay, now I'm getting really annoyed. Um, this level is very difficult. I'm pretty sure that I'm getting quite good at it now because I've played it about three million times. Maybe this will be the one. This will be the one in which I shall finally do it. If I thought the last level that looked like this was difficult, that was nothing. This level is just... Ah! Okay, I'm invincible. Let's just kill everything. Try and get us through it as quickly as I possibly can because I'm sick of this level. You know, it's, uh, it's nearly as frustrating as the Road to Nowhere levels. Okay. This level is quite a long level, and also there is a few bonus levels on this as well. I believe that this one is the one that introduces the new Neo Cortex bonus level, which is quite difficult. But I've not got that far yet. So, okay, come on, come on, oh, no, those things are trying to push me into the water, never again, I'm going to just take this slowly and not try and rush it, nothing can go wrong, not this time, but yeah, I must have played this about like 10 times now, <laughs> and I keep losing. Or missing a box. About, uh... More, more often than not, it's because I've missed a box and I can't retrieve it because I've killed a monster in order to get the box. And you'll see one of these once I get to the top of here. You've got to be careful before you kill any monsters. Jump. Okay, lots of lovely things. Yay! I'm trying to keep my sanity with this because it's such a long level. And there's this one place in particular which is very, very easy to fall. Checkpoint. And... Come on. So they all go in and come out one after the other. So jump, jump, jump. There we go. Just wait. Be patient. That's the key. Lots of boxes. Oh look, we have a third mask to be invincible. It's good to be invincible. All these stupid bats. And you. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. That was good. Yeah, this part here is where I've been failing a lot because of this box up here. You have to be able to get it. So I'm going to try using this checkpoint box first to see if I can try and jump up to it. No, no. didn't work. So I've got to use this person. And this time I'm not going to kill him before I get the box. <laughs> There we go, I got it. 
Great. Okay. I'm feeling quite good about this. And I, there we are. The neocortex head. Still quite ugly, but not quite as ugly as the ugly head. He's more grumpy, really. Okay, so I've got to try and get to the end of this level. We're not far, but, um, you know, there are some tricky jumps, which I've lost on a couple of times now. So this time I'm going to be very patient and figure it out. So hopefully it won't take too long. Okay, so we've got a, another Cortex head, so jump! There we go. I just run across there. What have I, got? I really need to figure these out. There's so many. True oh God! I hate when that happens. You're just running around trying to not fall off a small edge. I haven't even got to the tricky part yet. Okay, so. I just want to try and do this and get it done. Then I can be happy. Okay. Here it is. The tricky jump. Okay. When's the best time? So, it goes in. The if you jump at the wrong time, then that stupid thing's going to push you off the side, and you'll die! So, it's got to be perfect. And you've got to try and jump onto the ledge there. Yeah, you know, the revolving ledges. Okay. Any second, I'm going to figure it out. Sorry about this. It's just that I don't want to have to do this level again. It's getting really annoying. Okay, so... No, not that. No. Okay. Right. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready! Um. No! Ah! Yes! It worked! Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Good. <sighs> okay, now I've got to try and get to the end of the level without anything else going wrong. Three cortex heads. Okay. This is a thing where the boxes don't matter, you just got to get to the end. Okay. Okay! Crash! Crash! And crash! Wow! Is that it? Okay. Um... Oh no! Oh, for God's sake! I left the key! He left a key behind, and I... I've got to do this level again so I can do... <laughs> right, that's it. I'm going to take my anger out on myself and give myself a Chinese burn later. And it serves myself right for being so silly. Oh well, never mind. I'll do this. I'm not going insane. Don't worry. <laughs> I love this game. I do, honestly. I love this game. This is a good game. This is one of my childhood games and I love it. However, it does drive you a little bit mad. But don't worry, don't worry. I'll be okay. Okay, I just need to get to the end of this level. Play it through one more time and just get the key. Because those keys open up new levels. Which should be good. I've actually never completed this game 100% before, but seeing as I'm doing an LP of it, I may as well, and here we are at the end of the level. Hooray! At last! And I didn't die once, so I should get the gem. Okay. Thank God for that! Is it a coloured gem? Nope. No coloured gem. Bloody difficult, but no coloured gem. Okay! Take two. This time, I'm going to get the key. Fear not, for I shall leave no stone unturned, no frog unpluffed, no key unfound. Okay, there is the key. Hooray! I've got the key. Okay, I'm happy now. Let's go. Also, when I was doing that level, I...
kind of recorded uh, this, but um, then I died right after, so uh, damn. Never mind. We've got to the end of the bonus round. And we've got some lives. And a sexy lady. 44% completed. Nearly half of the game. Koala Kong, the next boss and the last level of this island. However, we've got Whole Hog, because we've got this key. Oh, great. I like these levels. Let's see how we do. Oh, my God. Got to try and get all the boxes, and we've got to try and avoid these strange natives jumping side to side. As long as I get all the boxes, I'll be happy. Okay. Wow. I find myself uh, sort of moving side to side as I go left and right with this pig. I'm that immersed in the game. Okay. Come on. Wow. God, that was close. Yay. Luckily, these levels aren't that long, so... It's just a memory game to see how much you can do. That is my strong point, though. Here we are at the end of the level. Yay! We should have a gem. Okay, come on, 50%. If it is, that's half of the game. Two videos, half of the game. Nice! Meet Koala Kong! He is the third boss of the game! But I'm not afraid of him! I'm not afraid! So, you can throw your boulders at me and see if I care! Because I don't! Uh, ow! That hurt! He threw it and he destroyed one of my masks! How could he? Okay, I've got to be very careful. He's struggling, he's shimmying with that boulder, so that means I can crush it back at him! Okay. Not bad. I need to do that three more times and he will be dead. No problem. Okay, here we go. He's shimmying. Meaning I can flick it. Oh, TNT. I reckon it's a good idea to stand next to the TNT and when he throws his boulder, then you can jump where there's going to be no TNT. Take this! One more to go. One more life! Are you scared, Mr. Kong? There's nothing like this bear. Not a bear. Okay, right, um... You've only got one more life, you know, whereas I have two. I shall be okay. Take this. Oh, no! His stupid cart got in the way. Okay. I've got to try again. All right, here we go. Here we go. Throw it, I dare you. And I'm going to wait till the cart's out of the way. And there we go. Yee Goodbye. And here we are on the third and final island. So I'm going to say my goodbyes now. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you join me for the next one. See ya.